Crokinole skills tip number nine. This drill is a fantastic way for us to build on last week's challenge of shooting Hogan's Alley. So if you're looking for a way to really challenge your skills, you're in the right place. Let's take a look. I remember seeing a video of Brian Cook doing this exact drill and making it look easy. It's not. Brian is a fantastic player who can make absolutely amazing crokinole shots look like child's play. I get to witness this firsthand at the 2019 World Cup of Crokinole in Budapest. And I can tell you I absolutely love watching him do this when I was competing as his doubles partner. And the very next day, I absolutely hated watching him do this as I competed against him in singles. Before we dig into this, please know that this is an advanced drill. So if you're new to Crokinole or you consider yourself to be more of a beginner level player, go ahead and try it. But if this just isn't fun for you, please don't do it. Wait a few weeks or a few months or don't come back to it at all. But the point is only do it if this is a fun, engaging challenge for you. What I want you to do for this drill is take three buttons, a stack of them, and put them directly behind a peg on the far side of the board. Take another three buttons and stack them on the other peg on the far side of the board. Then what you want to do is go one side or the other and you're going to shoot Hogan's Alley hitting the bottom disc on one side. You want to shoot hard. You're going to lose your shooter and you're going to knock that button out. The other two are going to drop straight down, leaving them in the same position. Once you hit one on one side, you're going to shift over and pick off that bottom disc on the other side, going back and forth until you've knocked all six buttons off the board. You want to see how few shots you can do this in. Pro tip, the best score you can get with this is six shots. But keep practicing to see how few of buttons you can use to be victorious and an absolute stud at the Brian Cook drill. As you do this drill, what you're going to notice is that you want to leave just a little tiny bit of space between the peg and your stack of buttons. And there's two reasons for that. One is if they're too tight, then when you shoot the bottom one out, as the other two drop, they're going to catch that peg and fall over. The other reason is, as I said, you're probably going to catch pegs here and there. When you hit a peg, if they're too tight, then as you hit the rubber, it will actually bump those buttons back, and that's not what you want. Still remember doing this as a kid when you take a stack of buttons and just put them right out in the open, and then blast away to see if you could knock the bottom one out and leave your stack still standing behind. There are a few really great things about this drill. First, it is tough. I mean, really tough. You're probably gonna catch some pegs as you start doing this. I can even see people turning this into a drinking game. Now listen, that is a prediction, not a suggestion. Please crokinole responsibly. Second, it's measurable. So you can do this drill and see if you can improve upon your score. See how few shots you can use to be successful in this drill. And the third great thing about this drill is it's scalable. What I mean by that is you can adjust the challenge within it. It's always gonna be tough, but you can make it a little less tough or more tough by shifting how much of the button you're able to see by looking down Hogan's Alley. So if you get super skilled at this, then I encourage you to make that sliver thinner and thinner and thinner and see if you can still pull it off. As you tackle this drill, remember to shoot hard. You're also going to want to remember what you picked up in tip eight about shooting Hogan's Alley, where you don't necessarily want to aim directly at that button or else you may catch the peg. You want to aim just to the side of the peg so you can catch that button on the way through. Most importantly, remember to have fun. Even when doing the drills, make sure that you are having fun with the greatest game on earth. And put them behind the bed. Come on! Six tries later. Now it is your fault.